What is up, everybody? Welcome to Gaghead. I'm your host, Freddie Prince Jr., and today we're playing Blood Bowl. This game is turn-based football. It's tons of fun. It's set in the world of Warhammer, which means humans, orcs, dwarves, elves, little rat people, beasts, all kinds of weird stuff. And if you want to take it way back, go back to tabletop football where you set your men up the way you want them turn it on and the vibrations move it in your guy scores this is that only now it's the future of it so i really hope you guys dig this game um we're gonna start with the tutorial so you guys can kind of learn how to play and see if it's a game you think you dig it's not expensive it's on xbox for like 20 bucks it's probably on playstation for the exact same sorry if their dialogue is uh is too loud but they don't speak for very long um, so we'll start a campaign from the beginning to give you some backstory. You're inheriting a team. You're the coach, just like in the board game. Um, and you are referred to as the coach. The players play for you. They can all get one action per turn. They have a certain amount of spaces they can move. They have an attack, a tackle zone. So any sort of space next to them, if a player gets close, that player's toast. Um, Let's start the game. I'll talk you through it as we go. The first stage is really short, really easy, and eventually you can watch all the videos and see a whole season. And my goal is to get enough of you to dig this that we can start a Gaghead League. That's right, an online league, and we can all play against each other, see who the best is, crown our first Blood Bowl champion, and, uh, and kick some major orc butt. Unless you're an orc, then you might want to kick my butt. All right, without further ado, um, I have two versions of this game, one on easy, one on medium. I haven't done hard. I'd probably get smoked. Um, and computer rolls are always different than real dice rolls, which we're used to as players of the original board game or any dice game or any Warhammer game that you'd be familiar with. Um, you know the computers sometimes do us dirty. Uh, it happens in this too, but not very often. Not enough to make me quit. New campaign. Their commentary is actually pretty good. And yeah, this is Red Dead Redemption 2. What? What? Oh, and the name of my football team? If we do a Blood Bowl League, I live in LA. It's the Los Angeles Gridlock. That's right, people. So what would your team name be? What's your hometown? And what's something that defines your city? I'm not going to do the LA smog alert. That's like low hanging fruit. So I'm the Los Angeles gridlock because our traffic is doo doo. Uh, what would your city be? What would your team name be? I'll respect it. I might make fun of it, but I'll respect it. Blood Bowl. Now I kind of explain Blood Bowl. So you don't need Bob to break it down for you. Um, our team, like I said, we've inherited the worst team in the league. Okay, they, These guys, they suck. And we need to bring them back from the bottom of the league to the championship. Or they could be relegated. You know some Brits made this game. Because American football, but you only get one point every touchdown. Why do we get six, by the way? Why? And then you get one for a kick... But two if you run it in. But if you run it in, you get six. If you pass it in, you get six. Why don't you get more if you run it in on a touchdown too? Why don't you get seven for that? Then maybe you get eight or nine points. I'm kind of with them on that. Here we go. Reverse. Can I get a reverse? Reverse. That's right. Never use the word friendly. Ever. Just look at that smooth feather, boy. Bwah, bwah. Organization of the press conference. Where'd my water go? I think you guys are going to like this game. It's fun. Do you remember like an old school game back in the day called Battle Chess? And like all the chess pieces were sort of monsters. And when you land on the piece, they would just smash and do like a little animatic. It's a lot like that, man. It, that's what it reminds me of, video game-wise. 
But it's based off the board game, which is awesome. But expensive. I think the base model game is like 80 bucks, 90 bucks. I have one. I run and grab it at the end of the stream, show it to you guys. Um, it comes with orcs and humans. And then you can buy all the other teams, which are way cheaper. But they're miniatures, so if you're into painting them... Um, I have people who follow me on, on Twitter who send me photos of the minis they paint. Uh, have one of those nerdy friends paint your team, man. Here's my scrub squad minus one sweet-ass ogre. Pardon my language. Blood Bowl. Versus the Siegfried Hoff Saints. They ain't got Drew Brees, though. They're in big-time trouble. Look at the statues in the background, you guys. So those look just like two of the miniatures in the board game of the receivers, or they call them catchers, um, that you can play on the board. I think that's like a little tribute. And that coin is also in the board game, which is super cool. Okay, so this isn't going to be complete rules in the tutorial first game. They make it real, real simple. You don't get punished for things like uh, turning the ball over, things like that, g dropping the ball, getting tackled on offense is a turnover in the real game. In the real game, you only get two minutes per turn, which seems like a long time, but it flies by. In this, they give you as much time as you want because it's the first game. They're trying to teach you how to play. It's still super cool. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. So no time. There are 16 rounds. Each team gets two. Each game takes about, not in this one, they quit after you score once. But each game you play online, if you come and join the league, takes anywhere between 45 minutes to, uh, to an hour. Unless you're just running up the score, the other team can concede. If you're conceded. Alright, here's my catcher. That's the guy you obviously want to throw it to. I got a lineman. He's obviously great at blocking. Blitzers do big time damage. My ogre's obviously just a stud. That's my quarterback, the thrower. Looks like we got two throwers on this team. It's not my favorite roster, but this is the one we're stuck with right now. We are going to bring this guy up here. Right here. So that will be his move. He could move up to eight spaces if he wanted. Well, because this is the tutorial, they'll let him move more if we want, but we're not going to do that. You see the dice on the edge there of his movement box. Um, that would be a secondary roll to get into those spaces. And uh, you have the chance of tripping and falling. And if you do, part of your turn will be getting up the next round, unless this was full rules game. If you fall down, you turn the ball over. Even if that was your first turn, all those other players' moves are canceled. So as you get better, you'll start to strategize, which is, it's, it's fun. All right, this is a catcher. We kind of want to protect these turkeys. So we're going to go back here with him. And what I'm going to do is try and protect my ball carrier by not allowing access to where he's going to be when they come to attack. And the way I'm going to do that is by this four square right here. And for those who are familiar, forgive me, but for those who aren't, this is the base sort of formation you want to use when trying to advance the ball. It doesn't allow people to direct route to you. It'll get them tripped when they try to come in to attack you. So they kind of have to pick the guys on the outside off. And I'll show you what I mean in just a moment. Because this handsome man, this quarterback, Hans von Broken, doesn't bode well. So he has the ball, and now he can move all the way up here. We're going to have to do a dice roll, so it's already going to be risky. I did not judge that well. But we're going to go for it. 83% chance we got this, which would be an easy roll to get. And he made it. Computer was kind to us. And he's in a great position now to not get murked, which is what we want. That's the goal. Don't get murked. Now, we are going to smash this guy in the face. And it's going to really just let us do it. There won't be a dice roll because they're just trying to show you the basics. So we're going to smash this guy. Boom. He's down. Part of his move is going to be getting up. 
There will be some times when you hit these guys with certain characters who have special skills or if you just do enough damage where you'll stun them and they won't even be able to play in the next round. Or, and this is the best part, well, not yet. You can knock them out, which will take them out until someone scores, then they come back in, or you can kill them. <laughs> which is the or you can knock them off the field and the fans can chew them up which is amazing okay so we got one down we got a dude in front of this ogre so he's in a lot of trouble now in the real game I would get three dice rolls meaning three chances to get a success on that guy because I have three guys lined up and that ogre's no joke so it would be a, almost a guaranteed success but in the tutorial it's guaranteed no matter what Boom, he's going down. What? There goes your defensive front. We're going to bring these guys around for a little bit extra D. When they trip and fall, it's money. They talk trash. The announcers talk pretty good trash in this game. This is a lineman. He's going to come block. And shore up that edge. And what we want to try to do, what we want to try to do, see this catcher right here. We want to get him nice and protected, but not blocked in. And we're going to try to set him loose once we see the defense commit and see which sort of direction they want to go. And then we want to open a hole for him, send him through, and throw the sweet Brett Favre pass. And we're going to end our turn with Y. And now we're going to watch them go. See what they got. They brought in Shari the Reveler. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Coming in hot. That makes it difficult for our catcher to go through that hole. But we can take him out. And we're gonna. We're gonna use this guy right here. Now we can get closer and get more guys around him to gain an advantage but again this is the easy mode so we're just going to knock him out of the way now we kind of have a path here for homeboy but it's not really safe to run him because he didn't commit any of those dudes yet so we're just going to move forward nice and easy we're going to get up to there no. I'm going to go one more. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. All right, that's okay. So we'll take that spot. I wanted to get there so I could place another player there. That guy's kind of jacked up, but it's okay. Everything's going to work out. We're going to take him up to here. I'm going to knock this fool out with the big dog. Because I don't want the guy I'm going to run connecting to a square, which you can see here. Um, otherwise, he has a chance to get tripped. I don't think he would trip in the tutorial, but I don't want to take the chance. That guy's out cold anyway, so we don't need to worry. Now I can bring this awesome guy up here. Boom, boom. With no fear of getting tripped. And jacked up and this guy's gonna protect the box right here and again we're protecting our catcher he's not a strong guy so he's not gonna help us in many fights he's good backup or if you have a couple guys surrounding another player then he could come in and get a nice double roll but usually he's not gonna be somebody that's that's uh, taking care of you all right sorry See, they talk good trash, right? And good voice actors. Good everything. We're going to bring him up one more. And I'm going to try to protect him on the other side with this fine specimen. And remember, that's our catcher that I'm trying to box in there so I can find an angle out one way or the other and haul tail for that end zone now this dude is gonna get jacked up 
You can also foul players when they're on the ground. So this guy's on the ground. I could bring this dude. It won't let you in the tutorial. But you could bring this dude around. Just click that and just kick him right in the chest. Sometimes on a dice roll, the ref's going to bust you and throw you out the game. And your team's down a player. Not impossible to win, but harder. But a lot of the time it won't. It'll just do damage to them, which is awesome. Especially when you're playing against your friends. They're begging you not to do it. You're like, oh, bro, I'm doing it. Or maybe that's just me that likes doing that to people. <laughs> All right, I'm going to bring this other catcher up. And we're going to end our turn there. That's all our guys. And it's going to be their turn. And I think we should score, unless, you know, we fumble and do something dumb. Um, we should score in the next two turns. By round four. Dang, they knocked that one poor dude out cold. Okay, so they block the catcher's one path, but if I knock him down, I can still go up that path that's right in front of the thrower right here. You see that? So what I want to do is first attack this fool. I want him to have to just deal with some pain. Boom! The pain! Right? And now... The, my catcher is also connected to this guy. I don't like that. So I'm going to use this character to put the smack down. Boom. Now, we're going to bring homeboy. How far can he go? All the way. We're going to bring homeboy all the way. He's going to go for it. He might fall if he does. Our strategy's in trouble. Okay. We got us uh, one guy safe in the end zone. Now we should be able to score pretty easy here. Wait, make sure he's not touching anyone. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Your boy almost blew it there. Let me pick this guy up so I can get extra backup, which again, you don't need in this, but it's just a good habit to have. So I'm just trying to show you. Boom. With the all oh, you can. Now I'm going to take my quarterback who is wonderfully protected and he loves his linemen. He got them all Rolexes at the end of the game. You guys don't know, but this game already happened. And now he's going to throw it to this fine gentleman. Bang! Quick pass, easy roll, high success. What a great play, touchdown. And they should quit if I remember right. I haven't done the first game in a long time. And you can make one pass per round. Gratuitous cheerleader shot. Gratuitous Freddie P dance shot. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, so they quit, which gives you another point. 2-0. Siegfried Saints. Suck it hard. Long live the Reavers. Oh, shocking news. What? How am I supposed to coach with no team? That, that's what I've been asking. Noobs. Rejects. It's going to be a long season, you guys. I like when the dialogue is different than what they write on the screen. <laughs> that happens a lot in this. Okay, so this is your um, sort of team management screen. And you just press A. And they're going to let me buy players. You're going to want at least two catchers. Most people carry four if you run this kind of a team. Um, some squads don't even have catchers. Um, 
you're going to want at least, well, I'll show you. No reason to do this. Oh, well, they'll show you even better. Two catchers, one thrower, two blitzers, one ogre. We'll make sure we have all those. Let's get our big ogre. He's handsome. That's team handsome all the way. They want us to have four blitzers. But we're going to get our catchers first. Boom, boom. We're going to get our thrower. Boom. We we'll probably need a backup thrower, but we're good for now. We want blitzers for sure. We have four more spots. We're going to get linemen. Insufficient gold. Yikes. Okay. I really don't want to grab another thrower. I don't think he's going to get hurt that soon. Um, let's see. Will it let me get... Will it let me get the coaches yet? No. Okay. We got 10k left. We can't afford nobody else. Alright, so we're good. Confirm purchases with X. There's our squad. We got four guys with block, which is a very important skill. They're going to demonstrate that next for us. Um, That is the end of the first game. Super easy. They add a skill pretty much every game in the tutorial and then take away a little bit of the easiness every bit of the tutorial. So like I told you, if they're the tackle zone, which are the eight boxes around your character, if anybody's ever in that and they try to move away from you or move around you, they have a chance to be tripped. And in the real games, that's a turnover. The other team gets the ball, which is crazy hardcore. So they, they slowly introduce all these other things. You get to start arranging the players the way you want them on kickoffs, on receiving, things like that, um, and tons of other stuff too. I really hope you like the, the first tutorial. Stay tuned for the rest. We'll take you through a whole first season. I think it's a total of like 10 games or something like that. And uh, like I said, if you dig us, subscribe, give us a like, comment in the section what your what your city is, what your team name would be, and uh, if you have any interest in getting in the league. All right, you guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you. Me and my Red Dead Redemption 2 hat are gone. And on behalf of everyone at Geghead, I'm Freddie Prince Jr. Wishing everybody a very good evening and good game. Peace.